Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. So, I'm uh, gonna cut out the non-printed areas. I just want the printed areas. And I'm gonna use gel mat. I want some kind of a gel kind of product, not a liquid one. And I'm gonna add a thin layer. That's why I use the credit card or gift card. Uh, you could use instead uh, a palette knife. I just want to make sure that I have it everywhere, but I don't want really heavy layers. And if I look sideways, I can see if there is no glare, there is probably no gel there. Now, I got to Take that and use the heat tool to quick dry it. As soon as it is dry, I can turn it on the other side. And by the way, I work on those release papers so that it doesn't stick too much. Uh, if you don't have a release paper, wax paper works well too. Just want to make sure that I don't accidentally glue my page to something. <laughs> The reason why I add oops, some medium is the paper is very old and very fragile and I want to be sure that it doesn't tear unwanted. Put that aside. I'm going to do the second page and then I will be back. So my next step is adding some transparent gold paint. I just want a little bit of shine and I don't want to cover up the text. Now that has to dry again before I can run it through my Big Shot. You probably were wondering what I need the wire for. Yeah, I want to add some butterflies peeking out of the book. Sorry, you couldn't see that. So I want them somewhere up here. That's why I need the wire. And I'm probably going to go for three. So I'm going to make me three pieces of wire. So I'm going to grab with the round nose plier at the very end of the wire and make a loop, the tiniest loop I can make. Then I grab a flat nose plier to start the spiral. And it doesn't need a lot, I just want some areas where I can attach them better. So that the hot glue has some Thing to grab on. Then I make a bend so that I have the spiral somewhat centered. See? I hope you can see it. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the end, the tiniest little loop I can make. Start my spiral. And then make a bed. So, now, well, I should have checked that before. That's a little bit too long. I don't want it that much. Okay, do it again. So check first how long you really need your wire to be. 
I will be back when I have all three wires ready to go. Now I'm gonna attach the wire to the butterflies with hot glue and that's why I need it somewhat straight so that I have a good contact. And I'm gonna cover it with the second butterfly. Watch out, it is hot. <laughs> first to go in our book. I'm gonna make one big and two small. You really have to shape the wire a little bit. Now I'm gonna cover up the part where I attach again with the hot glue my wire. Just making sure that that is nice and flat. So that I have good contact with the book. Now I'm gonna hold it in place for a while. With the hot glue, you have those strings everywhere. Uh oh, yeah. Guess that's a spot to cover up. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bend that slightly, and I think I can add that right underneath here. Now to glue down the rest of the butterflies, I use tacky glue, I don't need uh, the hot glue. And as you can see, I don't fully glue them down. I think that's okay. I'm gonna cut back some of the pages but I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up like this which I don't care so that's what we have a double spread full of butterflies flying off the pages <laughs> anyway I hope to see you soon again and I hope you liked this video and if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button all the subbies are appreciated in the meantime, till next time, take care.